Right, I'd like to call on Max and Bobby. Now you've both arrived. So, first of all, if you could just, between you, take the covers off the 250. We'll just show you, then I'll run through the technical changes. So, do you want to get on the front and you get on the back? Or whichever way you do it, boys. Oh, yes. First time it's been, first time these guys have seen it in actual fact, so. But unfortunately, they're both too old for uh, MX2, so they won't be riding next year. All right, boys, thank you very much. You can, uh, that's it, you can start eating, I suppose. Um, right, as you can see, it's the little brother. It's, everything is based from the 450. The plastics, complete plastics, are interchangeable. They're identical. Uh, chassis is born from the 450 once again but it is slightly lower down. The top chassis rail is slightly lower down this time to give more stability on the front. Uh, front forks, conventional shower front forks, as we do on the 250. Pay Arbor on the 450. Engine, bigger gearbox, um, cylinder head, everything pretty well new from the ground up. The chassis, as I say, exactly the same, except for bottom cradle. Bottom cradle, obviously, to suit the 250. The um, major changes in the cylinder head, obviously, to give more power. So, top power, slightly improved, but torque and bottom to middle power, quite dramatically improved. Um, target was about four brake horsepower, and we came very close to meeting target. So, that's good, but you will see on the power curves, and you'll see that we'll release the information more as it goes on. You'll see that the torque, is reached a lot sooner in the RPM range. We should speak about the injection system, the dual time injection system. I don't say dual injector because that, that confuses everybody because that means two injectors. We've had that on bikes, we're trying it, we're playing with it. But this is dual time. So it is injecting twice in the stroke, in the four stroke cycle, which is four times as it says, not two stroke. And that's what we're specialists at. Um, exhaust system, it's Honda's mass centralisation. So the exhaust system, dual pipes, we had them on the 250 some years ago, uh, but we can make the bike quieter and we can push everything forward and lower, as low as possible, to get mass centralisation, which is really important feature of uh, Honda's technology. The suspension set as shock is set lower in the frame and it is shorter, once again, to get everything as low as possible. Gears, stronger gears this time, wider gears. So basically crankcases change as a result of that. Radiators smaller and lower. And we've got the air ducts, which enables us to put more air across the radiators to keep the cooling there. Uh, in general, there's been testing. I'd like to just, while I'm on this, is uh, David Dusselari. If you could just put your hand up, that's Davy. Davy's ridden the bikes. So if you want to know a little bit more about him, he's the one that's been flying around in Europe on them, all covered up and quietened up. So Davy knows about them, and if you want to know anything technical, is that the juggler, right? Um, if you want to know anything ta technical, Davy is your guy. He will go more deep into it from what's happened on the bike. but. As you can see, total, total new bike from the ground up. 